Hey, kids and families. Um, so we're going to try this week to do a video and see how that goes. Last week we tried a Zoom. This week we're trying a video. Um, let us know what works best for you. I know we all have different schedules and people have different work schedules and when they need to be on their computers and when their kids can, can sneak onto computers. And so um, we're trying to make this uh, just easy going for the, the families that we have. So let us know what helps best and works best for you. Um, so kids, today we're going to go and do something similar to what we would normally do for a JYF or Dinky afternoon. So right after we had snack, then we would go downstairs to the colored rug and what would we do? Some silly songs. So let's do some silly songs and I can't believe it, but uh, I'm actually going to try to do a couple of these on video. So, you know, pandemic times, it calls for these, this type of uh, fun. So kids, go ahead and stand up, stand up, stand up. Have a little bit of fun and tilt the camera back just a little. Okay, you ready? Here's a favorite, Herman the Worm. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Throwing my yo-yo, woo, woo. And along comes Herman the Worm. And he was this big. He said, Herman. What happened? Ate my sister. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Throwing my yo-yo, woo, woo. And along comes Herman the worm. And he was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? Ate my brother. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Throwing my yo-yo, woo. And along comes Herman the Worm. And he was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? Hey, my mom. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Throwing my yo-yo, woo, woo. And along comes Herman the Worm. And he was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? Ain't hey, my dad. Sitting on a fence post, chewing my bubble gum. Throwing my yo-yo, woo, woo. And along comes Herman the Worm. And he was this big. I said, Herman, what happened? I burped. Pointless songs are our silly songs, kids. Pointless. Okay, one more fun, silly song for you. Um, this one is a favorite as well. Um, and I don't know how much of me you're going to be able to see for this one. I'll try to do it straight up and let's see if it works. Um, we're going to try Button Factory, okay? You ready? Hey, my name is Joe. And I work in a button factory. I got a wife a dog and a family. One day, my boss came up to me and said, Hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, No. He said, Turn the button with your right hand. Hey, my name is Joe, and I work in a button factory. I got a wife, a dog, and a family. One day, my boss came up to me and said, Hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. He said, turn the button with your left hand. Hey, my name is Joe, and I work in a button factory. I got a wife, a dog, and a family. One day, my boss came up to me and said, Hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. He said, turn the button with your right foot. Hey, my name is Joe. And I work in a button factory. I got a wife, a dog, and a family. One day, my boss came up to me and said, Hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, No. He said, Turn the button with your left foot. Hey, my name is Joe. And I work in a button factory. I got a wife, a dog, and a family. One day, my boss came up to me and said, Hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. He said, turn the button with your head. Hey, my name is Joe, and I work in a button factory. I got a wife, a dog, and a family. One day, my boss came up to me and said, hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, no. He said, turn the button with your tongue. Hey, 
My name is Bill, and I work in a button factory. I got a wife, a dog, and a family. One day, my wife came up to me and said, Hey, Bill, are you busy? I said, yes. Okay, good job, guys. If you made it through that, you're probably tired like I am. Good job getting your heart rate up for just a minute. Okay, so we normally do a few silly songs, get out all of our energy, and then we normally do a few real songs. Um, I'm not going to sing with you today. Pass the silly songs. No, no. Um, but I would love for you to each um, sing for your parents, either Jesus Loves Me, This Little Light of Mine, or Sanctuary, okay? And I will see before our next Tuesday's gathering if I can get Miss Kelly or somebody that has a better voice than me to sing a real song for you because I can't, uh, I, I don't have, I can do silly things and be silly um, with you. I love being silly with you. Um, but I, I don't think you want to hear me try to solo it out for a better song. Um, today... We're going to have some fun. This week and next Tuesday, we're going to do different Earth, Fry, uh, Earth Day things because this Sunday is Earth Sunday and next Wednesday is Earth Day. So we have two different days that we get to celebrate in our church, um, Earth Sunday and, and Earth Day. And so we, as the children's part, are going to celebrate this Tuesday and next Tuesday, okay? So this uh, Sunday at church will be really fun, and uh, for you adults, you'll be happy to hear that Tim Deeble's preaching for us, which who better about Earth Sunday, you know, than Tim Deeble? Um, and so I'm excited to hear it. I'm, I love Tim um, and love uh, Taproot Gardens and, and all that they do out there, and so I'm excited to hear about it. And so let's get to our story. We're going back to the beginning of our storybook Bible today, all the way back to creation. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Creation. Before God created the world, there was nothing at all except God. On the first day of creation, the wind of God blew. Whoosh, whoosh. God said, let there be light. Crackle, boom, bang. There was light. God said that the light was good. Then split. God divided the light and the darkness into day and night. On the second day, God said, let there be sky. Pillow, billow, buff. There was a sky. God said that the sky was good. On the third day, God said, let there be water and dry land. Drip, drop, kerplunk, there was water. Crackle, crunch, snap, there was land. God saw that the water and the land were good. Then God said, let there be plants and trees. Rumble, rustle, pop, there were plants and trees. God saw that the plants and trees were good. On the fourth day, God said, let there be a sun and a moon and stars, glimmer, shimmer, shine. There was a sun and a moon and a thousand stars. God saw that the sun, moon, and stars were good. On the fifth day, God said, let there be sea animals that swim and birds that fly, wiggle, splish, splash. There were sea animals, flutter, putter, tweet. There were birds. God saw that the sea animals and birds were good. On the sixth day, God said, Let there be animals of every kind on the earth. Growl, prowl, snort. There were animals with fur. Skitter, scat, creep. There were bugs, slither, sleek, hop. There were reptiles. God saw that the animals and bugs and reptiles were good. Then God said, let there be people on the earth. Blink, wink, hiccup. There were people on the earth. God saw that the people were very good. On the seventh day, God said, 
it is time to rest. Whew. God and all of creation rested. Okay, part two of our story. After creating the whole world, God looked around and was very happy. It was an incredible world filled with wonderful animals, plants, and included two very special people, a man and a woman. God made a beautiful place for the man and woman to live, an amazing garden. God named the man Adam and the woman Eve. God said to Adam and Eve, I need someone to help take care of this amazing world. Will you help me? Adam and Eve said, sure, we'd love to help you, God. Adam and Eve were happy to care for God's beautiful world. All around them was incredible creation. Together, they walked around the garden, amazed with what they saw. There were tall trees and short trees, fat trees and skinny trees. Wow, Eve, said Adam, look at this. There are flowers of every size and color. Amazing, Eve said to Adam. It's all so beautiful. There were still quiet blue pools and a rustling breeze that blew throughout the garden. Everywhere they looked, they saw an amazing world. When she looked at all the animals God placed in the garden, the one that fluttered through the sky, the ones that wiggled and squirmed across the ground, and the ones that frolicked and played across the land, Eve said it's going to be hard to keep track of them all. Don't worry, Eve, Adam said. God asked me to give all the animals names to, keep, to help us keep track and to take care of it all. This is a toucan. A chickadee, a monkey, and a squirrel. Did you know that humans got to name all of these animals? This tall, tall creature is called a giraffe. The silly one with the long nose, she will be an elephant. And this one who wags his tail will be a dog, Adam said. Look how he follows me everywhere I go. God watched over Adam and Eve as Adam shared all the names of the animals while they played with them in the garden. God was happy to see that Adam and Eve were taking such good care of everything in creation. Yeah, so we as, as humankind, we get this amazing, amazing responsibility of taking care of everything. So all of God's creation we have to help take care of. And that means we help take care of each other. We help take care of the plants and the trees and things that are outside. We also help take care of the animals and the birds and the insects and the fish in the sea. Everything that's here, we are responsible for. And so our actions need to be reflective of that, right? Um, next week, we're going to have some fun with some of our recycling. So make sure you have some recycling available for next week. But today, we're going to do a couple things for uh, that you can do inside your house um, that can go outside to help nature, okay? Because this week, it's really kind of cold out. So uh, if you have a plate, you can get a plate. And if you have something that could uh, go outside um, that's either edible, like an ice cream cone. Ice cream cones are great for this if you have an ice cream cone at home. I don't have any ice cream cones at home. So I went outside my house and I looked around to see if I had any pine cones. By only pine cones I have around my house were the really little ones. So do you know what I'm going to pull out and use today? This is what's left of an ear of corn. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this, uh, what's left of the ear of corn on my plate. And then I'm going to pull out my little uh, sewing kit. Okay. Um, if you have any string, if you have any um, yarn, if you have any dental floss, 
at your house, then that would be good to use because you're just going to want to be able to make a loop. So I just cut my string here. You might not be able to see my string, but you might. You never know. But I'm going to make it to where I can tie the end around and have a loop there, okay? Like a circle, kind of like a necklace. And I'm going to take one end of my corn cob here and I'm going to do the same type thing there. I'm going to tie the string around it, okay? But because I made this a loop first, before I tied it, then that means when I get done tying it, then I'm going to be able to hang it up from the loop, okay? So I've, so whatever you got, whether it was an ice cream cone or a pine cone or an ear of corn, um, whatever you have, um, and it could be a full ear of corn too, um, because the, the corn that's in it um, could still be eaten by birds and squirrels, okay? And so I'm going to put this with the string on it back on my plate, okay? And then I'm going to pull out some peanut butter. I just put a little bit in a in a cup so that I wouldn't uh, keep putting peanut butter from the the corn back into the jar. Um, I was trying to keep my jar safe. So uh, pull out a little bit of peanut butter and something to spread it with. A spoon or a knife would work really well. And what I want you to do is take that peanut butter and just smear it on your ear of corn or your uh, ice cream cone, your pine cone, whatever it is that is safe for you to hang up outside, I want you to smear that peanut butter on. And if you don't have peanut butter but you have something similar like almond butter or sunflower butter or something, um, you're welcome to use that as well. That'll work just fine. Okay, so I've got my peanut butter smeared on there. So do you know what I'm going to do next? Any guesses? Hmm? I've got a big bucket here. I don't know if you can hear it. Of uh, bird seed. Okay. And so this bird seed, I've got a big scoop and I'm just going to uh, go like this over my big bucket of bird seed. And I'm going to cover all of my peanut butter with the bird seed. And then when it's all covered, I'm going to shake it a little bit. I've still got my string on there. I'm going to put it on my plate until it's uh, until I get done here, and then I'm going to go hang it up outside. But you, you could go hang it on up outside and wait for the birds to come and feast on it. And this, the little birds will come. Can you see all, I don't know if you can see all the bird seed that's on there. But the birds will come and eat all of the food that's on top of there. And uh, the squirrels will probably come and feast on your bird feeder too, um, unless you have it in a spot where they can't reach it. So that'll be a fun little way of you taking care of nature in a fun way. Um, another fun way that we can take care of nature, um, and I want you to go and try to do this um, sometime this week. I want you one day, when you're tired of being inside, I want you and your family to either go uh, walk around your yard um, or you can go for a walk or a bike ride. But um, I want you to pick up 
uh, take an extra little uh, grocery bag with you and any litter that you find along the way, then I want you to pick up that litter and pick up that trash and whatever shouldn't be there, then I want you to pick it up because part of us taking care of the planet is us also picking up after ourselves, okay? So um, it's really would be a great time to do it after trash day. Um, trash picks up at our house tomorrow. So tomorrow might be a great day in case some of that, when the trash truck goes and, and dumps it out, if some of that blew with the wind, it might be a good day tomorrow for us to go and pick up all of that extra um, trash that, that flew out. Um, so I want you to do that. And then, oh, I left one thing. Uh, let me go get it real quick. But... I think somebody grabbed one of them already. That's okay. Um, so I want you, uh, we have lots of these laying around our houses right now, right? I mean, they might be in your trash can or your recycling cans. Um, but yeah, they're toilet paper rolls. And so what I want you to do is I want you to uh, find two of these empty ones. Um, they're a little better than the ones that still have toilet paper on because we still want to use our toilet paper, right? Um, but I want you to find two of them and then um, you can either find a rubber band or a hair tie or some tape and I want you to put the two together <laughs> and I want you to tape them. And you know what it'll look like when you're get when you get done? You'll have some binoculars. And with those binoculars, then you can go around. Then I want you to have those ready because we're going to do one more thing. You're going to create binoculars and one more thing, and we're going to go outside with them, okay? So get your binoculars ready. And then I want you to find some paper. And it can be smaller paper. It can be thinner paper or uh, colored paper. It can have lines. It can have no lines. It doesn't matter what kind of paper it is. I want you to create a journal with your paper, whether that means you fold it to make it, whether it means you cut it a little bit and, and tape it or staple it or something. I want you to create yourself a little journal. And then I want you to take your binoculars. Ooh, or if you just have one, you could have a telescope. Didn't think about that. Um, but you can. I want you to take your binoculars or telescope outside. And I want you to take your journal outside. And I want you to do so, to either write down what it is that you see or what you hear, or draw a picture in your journal of what you see, or you could even do the little sketchings or the etchings where you put a leaf or a flower underneath your paper and then you do your crayon on top. Um, but I want you to engage with nature. And so whether that means that you go and find a rock and look under the rock to see if there's a worm. So you could draw a little Herman the worm. Or whether or not it means uh, that you uh, go out and um, draw the prettiest flower that you find. Or you count how many different uh, birds fly past you. Um, or if you lay all the way flat on the ground and you look up and you just watch the clouds passing by and you try to figure out what shape the clouds are in. I want you to enjoy nature and engage with nature this week. So um, that's your challenge for this week is to go outside at some point. I know it's a cooler week, but I want you to go outside at some point and um, engage, engage and pick up litter along the way. Um, so now we're going, we have two more things on our list. 
One is our prayer time, okay? So anything that you're wanting to pray for, um, then I'm going to give you a little time to, to say it in the prayer that we're going to do together, okay? Gracious, repeat after me. Gracious God, thank you for today. Thank you for friends and family. Thank you for our food and home. Thank you for all creatures, for our plants and animals, and for letting us take care of them. Now we pray for these other things. Now's when you insert the other things. And help keep everyone safe and everyone healthy. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. One thing's left. You have one more job, one more task. Um, when you go outside, after you're done with your binoculars and your journaling, and you've picked up all the litter that you can find, I want you to go find as many little flowers, like the uh, dandelions, you know, the yellow ones. Not not your mom's fancy tulips or daffodils or anything, but uh, as many of the little pretty flowers as you can and make a bouquet and then come back in and bring it to your mom and dad, okay? And tell them how much you love them and how they are even more beautiful than these flowers and give them a great big hug and kiss, okay? Okay, kids, I love you. I miss you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Ah. Bye. Love you.